Who here has ever had anything go wrong in their world, whether big or small? Thank you. Who here then, who has had something go wrong, probably think that they could have handled things just a little bit different? Me too. So what if we had a magic wand that could change that outcome? Who then would be interested in that? Yes. I'm Tammy and I'm from Why You Can Too. And I'm actually gonna go through some tips um, that I've utilized when I've had some pretty big adversities and even little adversities to help live the life that you deserve. So before I do that though, would it be okay if I share just a little story about me? Thank you. So many of you know me as mum to three gorgeous children, wife to an amazing man, multi-award winning entrepreneur, and have a tendency to be in the flow and attract great opportunities into my life. But let me tell you, it hasn't always been like that. There's been a little bit of a process in place. You see, I wanna share with you today one thing that I've discovered that I attracted into my life. And I wanna share with you the lessons that I learned as a result of that. You see, I was a engineer in the Royal Australian Air Force for 17 years. I was in a male dominated environment, the only female. I was told I couldn't do it. So with my attitude, no one ever tells me never. I did what I could and actually um, was many, awarded many, many um, accolations um, as a result of it as well. So I was pretty proud of what I achieved. During my time, I had the opportunity to work with the SAS. I was responsible for ensuring that the aircraft was ready to take these elite soldiers on their missions to New Guinea so that they could do their training. So in passing one day, they were really appreciative. They came and saw me and they offered me an amazing opportunity. Sorry. They made, offered me an amazing opportunity. They asked if I'd love to join them on one of the missions to New Guinea to do the Kokoda Trail. What do you reckon my reaction was? Absolutely. So I didn't know how it was going to happen. My husband was away at the time. Um, I had, we had two gorgeous girls that I was working full time. They were in childcare. And the day just so happened to be the day I was flying out, my husband was flying back from Darwin. He said, Tam, don't worry about the details. It'll all work. You need to take this opportunity. So I'm really appreciative that I have an amazing hus husband that supports me and pushes me to do some things as well. So during the time when he was away though, I had two weeks training and that is it. So I work full time, two weeks. Normally um, someone will take months to train to do this mission. It's a pretty intense, it's one of the hardest walks in the world. So I had two weeks. So in my favor, I was quite fit. So what I would do was um, work during the day, look after the children of a night, get care in, so then I could put on my backpack and each day get heavier and heavier and heavier so I could be prepared for the journey ahead. Because when I was gonna be doing the journey, there was 144 SAS soldiers, six other Air Force guys and me. So I had to be tough. I had to actually be able to do it mentally, spiritually, Physically was one of the hardest things that, that I've ever had to do. So I did the training for that in the short amount of time that I was given. So whilst my husband was away, I was busy. I didn't get a time, chance to actually think about it, which was a very, very awesome thing. Because when I ended up on the plane, uh, I was on the plane and my little voice in my head started kicking in, started coming up with excuses, or not really excuses, but things that could go wrong. So it came up with what would happen if you went over on your ankle and you twisted your ankle, how would you get out? Would a helicopter have to come take you out? Oh my goodness, then it would be on the news. Or, or would they have to carry me? But then how annoyed would they be if they have to carry me? You see, when I arrived there, they did look at me and I thought, oh my goodness, we're gonna to have to carry her. So I knew I had to be determined, I had to be tough, I had to be mentally strong to make sure that I got through because I, there is no way that I wanted to be a burden on absolutely anyone. So then we began our journey. It was pretty exciting, 25 kilo pack, which contained everything that I needed for the journey. The food, water, um, tent, not very, um, first aid supplies. Um, we don't take a whole change of clothes, um, take an extra set of clothes, but that's really about it, okay? Because everything you have to carry. 
So there I was on my mission thinking, oh my goodness, I've done, this is beyond my control because they started pack marching. But as the first day progressed, they started peeling off. And during that time, I knew then that I had the determination to succeed, okay? So day four happened. And remember that little um, mind thing that I had going on about my ankle? Guess what? attracted it into my life. I actually went over my ankle and there is no way I was going to rest on the Kokoda Trail. I could not believe it. In fact, most of them turned around and they could see, you could actually hear the damage that I had done. And I thought, oh no. So what I wanted to do, I had a choice at that point. I could focus on, oh my goodness, oh no, I've hurt my ankle, you know, and focus on the negative side of it. Or I could focus on, do you know what? I'm just going to rest it quickly. I don't have any ice, okay, but I do have compression. So I'm going to leave my boot on for the rest of the journey. That's totally fine. And I'll elevate it for a while and I'll see how that goes. So I could focus on that and then focus on the outcome of me crossing that finish line at the end. And that's what I chose to do. So I got up, dusted myself off, put my pack back on, and my ankle was actually okay. And I actually finished the journey on day eight, at the end of day eight. So that was four days with an ankle that potentially could have taken me out. And I was there is no way I was gonna allow that take me out. So I finished the cross line, uh, finish line. I was able to call my husband on the radio. Could not believe that I had completed one of the hardest walks in the world with some of the most elite soldiers in the world. And he said, look, Tam, I never ever doubted you. So someone else knew my determination other than me. Isn't that funny? Now, in life, we often do that, don't we? So have you ever had an incident in your life that you could have handled differently? You think about it, something happens, and at the time, it feels that sometimes it can take your breath away. Some of the adversities that I've been through have been like that. But if we allow ourselves to focus on that and that alone and the chaos that it's going, is going on at the time, we can actually create even more of that negative impact. What if we decide to focus on the outcome? What if we decide to create the life? So if, the thing is, what I learned about that situation and what I've learned about um, since then, because that was about 10 years ago, and I'm actually um, analysing different things that have happened in my life and what I've, how I've actually treated it, and I think, wow, how powerful. Now the awareness is there that I actually allowed that into my subconscious. I created the whole thing. Did I want to fall over my ankle? No. But did I say, what would happen if I did? So the universe delivered. The subconscious said, hey, this lady wants to fall over. Didn't know when it was, didn't know the details, but guess what? It happened. So I want you to think about in your life, I know that you've had things probably that have happened and you kind of think, well, I didn't create that, but maybe you did. See, the thing is, there's many lessons through my life that I've learned, through the adversities that I've been through, that I've learned, that I went, wow, how powerful. So how powerful now, if I can realize that and acknowledge the fact that, um, that, I, that I created that and many other incidents that I created as well. So instead of actually creating it and having the drama with it, what if I could create the better solution? Would that be better? Yeah. And that's what, the, um, that's what you'll learn when you join me um, on my workshops. Not just those type of things, not just that, but there's many, many tips that I've learned along my journey through overcoming major adversities. I've got a one-day workshop, which is just $90. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. And I've got a real special on at the moment as well. For the first 10 people that go and register their name in the room, they get a half-hour free coaching call with me as well. So that you can decide then if you want to spend more time. So because I've got a, um, I'm also running a retreat in Fiji, um, on a tropical island, on a private island, in a private resort. All everything is inclusive. We're going to be doing activities. We're going to push ourselves to extreme. We're going to actually try to overcome the fear. There's going to be a lot of personal development, but a lot of activities and a lot of fun. See, because of what I've learned in life is that unless you fill your own cup up, you can feel resentful. And as mums, as wives, sometimes we forget our dreams, don't we? Yeah. 
we forget. We know that we've, we've got a duty to do this and this and we put other people's needs in front of our own needs. But if we fill our own cup up first, everyone benefits from that as well. So whilst we're doing these things, I'm going to help you discover your why. And once you discover your why and you become in that energy, serendipities and coincidences just happen. You can see the testimonials on my website as a result of that because of the tips that I've learned. So this is not something that I'm just recreating. These are real life experiences that I've had in my life that I've learned from that I'm sharing with you. There's a whole ton of information that I'm going to be sharing. So I encourage you to um, either go down to the back of the room, go to the website, contact me for your free consultation and find out if you want to spend more time with me and see because what I know is that we do create our lives. We absolutely do. You deserve to live an awesome life. You so deserve this time. So let's live, let's help you live the life that you deserve and discover why you can too. Thank you.